Hi, and welcome back to Pittman's Pumpkin Patch, Pittman's Garden Patch. It is October the 20th, 2018, and I'm here in the final part of the pumpkin patch this year. And as you can see, the pumpkin patch has grown substantially. To give you a little perspective, there's the road, and there's some of the patch that's been creeping out into there. And to give you even more, Check this out. There's the end of the vine there. There's the road right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, geez. Um, at, at first, the pumpkin patch wasn't, you know, producing a whole lot at first, you know, but, but for whatever reason, some of these things were, um, you know, it took a while for them to get going, some of the larger varieties, which I was, you know, pretty concerned about because uh, you know larger pumpkin varieties take longer to grow and to get to ripeness and maturity and everything so I wasn't thinking that a lot of it was going to make it to uh, you know to its peak ripeness and size and everything but and some of them may not because some of them are just now actually getting pollinated and some of them are just now and now growing so there's you know some of that but a lot of it has gotten to size as you can see way over in here let me get you in a little bit closer you can see the garden patch where you know it's just a 25 by 25 section right there where you see some of the pvc pipe standing up that's where the pumpkins originated okay and you can see it's going all the way out to the street way over there pumpkin patch going way out here and some of the stuff I redirected to try to keep it somewhat contained. I mean, good Lord. This could have easily been, what? Uh, I could probably fit another 25 by 25 foot section there. Here, here. Uh, so that would have been 100 square feet. And I could probably do another 100 square feet over there and another one over here. So probably somewhere around 300 to 400 square feet of garden space for this for just 20 pumpkin plants that's incredible I mean I've always known that pumpkin plants you know they grow long uh, vines and everything like that most varieties do but Lord you know but this is one of the first this is uh, one of the first times I really allowed it to sprawl out and do its thing naturally and boy did it take advantage of it huh so uh, what I'm doing right now, folks, is I decided that, you know, this year for the first time, I'm going to try to sell some of these pumpkins, okay? So, all the way over across near the street, there's a little white table over there and uh, a U-Pick pumpkin patch going on here at Pittman's Produce, uh, which is my side company, my side business that I do. And let me just take you around and show you that some of the pumpkins that have gotten that are going on here so some of these are kind of unique in their you know it's kind of flat Cinderella type uh, pumpkins with uh, you know some kind of a grayish orange grayish green coloring down here and I think that had to do more with sunlight getting to it but that's the uniqueness of it and you know have some really nice uh, flat white pumpkins like this that's really nice and here's another really solid looking solid looking one right here and again it's got some of that grayish green color milky green color uh, I have some really nice, uh, unique looking ones that I didn't know was, I was going to get. Okay, but it is what it is. So I'm sneaking down in here. Look at this. I don't know if the light does it justice, but uh, kind of this yellowy uh, looking one. And that's kind of cool. Now this other green, blotchy stuff has come in. I don't know exactly 
What that is, I wasn't expecting yellow ones. I didn't order yellow pumpkins, but that seems to be what I've gotten, at least on a couple of them. So I was thinking of maybe keeping one or two of those for myself and uh, saving the seeds out of that so that I could uh, have some more of that yellowy pumpkin look. Because that's kind of cool. That's different and unique. And again, I didn't order that. I didn't order those kind of pumpkins. But, uh, I don't know, maybe they got the seeds mixed up a little bit. Look at that. So that's kind of unique. Real interesting. And see, this one is still growing because it's, uh, it's, it's still a little pliable. The sides of it, I can push in a little bit. Now, well, got some about here. And it's got a little bit of growing still to do, you know. These white ones definitely has some growing to do. But, you know, I, I, I was thinking to go ahead and sell what I got. You know, they're of different size and they'll still hold. They're not going to go bad just because you harvest them early. Uh, you know, the, the only thing is, is you're just not going to get the size that you could have gotten. Now, here's my biggest pumpkin that I've gotten so far. Check this out. Let me see if I can back this up a little bit. So that's my biggest pumpkin right there. And I'm pretty sure that's one of the Dill's Atlantic Giant Pumpkins. Uh, give you a little perspective. <laughs> so, and she's solid. I think I can, well, just a little bit of give, not much. A little bit of give but she's ready to go you know and I've you know had some of the usual trials and tribulations with growing pumpkins in my area in my environment and it's very difficult to do um, you see another white one down here another smaller one that's that got pollinated a few day of a week or so about a week ago, maybe. Uh, so, just, you know, I, I got, I don't know how many I have. Maybe about 20 or so pumpkins, maybe. I haven't counted them. I've lost a few of them uh, due to, you know, just bugs gotten into them, laid eggs and hatched in and kind of mushed them out from the inside, you know. There's a shot of that one right there. But, uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, I think what I might try to do, you know, as, as, as gardeners and farmers, you're all constantly learning. Uh, another white one in there. And you're kind of also constantly adjusting. So, maybe... Maybe what I do with the larger type varieties or something, maybe I, I start a little bit sooner. This one to me is very cool looking. I just like this one. It has this white, blotchy orange with a little bit of green marbling kind of effect in there. Look at that, isn't that just pretty? And it's a good sized pumpkin. It's a good sized pumpkin. I, I really like it. Uh, and again, I don't know why it did what it did. Another white one in there. But Mother Nature has, you know, done this. You know, it's, it's, it's just what it is. It's very unique. So, this is, again, something new I've learned. You know, something I can reference back on if somebody has, as if I'm ever sharing information down the road or answering questions or whatever. You know, a little baby one there, and another little baby one there. Uh, they just got pollinated about maybe three, three to five days ago or so. Here's another one. This was about maybe a week and a half old. Um, don't think it'll get to ripeness by the time Halloween shows up. But sometimes if you just put out green pumpkins, sometimes people like that. 
just a little green pump and they will ripen even off the vine uh, so there's that big white beauty one right there I love that one that was my now it used to be like a pure crystal white look at this vine trying to come back into the go back into the patch <laughs> yeah so this was the original white one that I discovered in here that was pollinated a long time ago so I'm gonna harvest this one because I know it's completely yeah that that one's solid and it's not gonna go so I'm gonna snip this one out of here put it on my table and just start advertising I wish that maybe I would have done this about a week ago start advertising the uh, you pick um, farm everything so but you know I don't know if they're gonna sell I have no idea you know I've never sold pumpkins of course now earlier in this year I sold all my blueberries I sold a little bit last year uh, but I never was thinking I was ever gonna sell any of my blueberries but I did and they sold uh, I got these strawberry uh, beds a couple strawberry beds planted out these are ever bearing strawberries um, Albion variety is on the far side and the Ozark beauty variety is closest to us um, I've taken a break from strawberries for about maybe two years maybe three years something like that um, and so I'm just kind of getting back to them like I said these are ever bearing I've always bought June bearing which they produce their strawberries in one big batch at one time and then the plants done right for the year uh, so I didn't want to do that because I'm like well that's a waste of my space I'd have to yank the plants out get rid of them put something else in and then come fall start all over again I'm like why bother so maybe if I dedicate a couple beds of ever bearing strawberries I can get strawberries in spring maybe a little bit through the summer they'll probably slow down because of the heat and then pick back up again in the fall so I thought that, that might be pretty good I, I'll go for that um, and so that's going to be, at least for now, that's going to be some, uh, a permanent fixture here for a little while. Don't know how long it's going to last. And if these things don't produce for me next year, uh, and I'm like, well, I need the space for something else. Then, then I'm going to make an executive decision at that time. Um, another decision I'm having to make is dealing with the, my pepper plants in here. They're taking up valuable uh, space, and I'm, I do have some peppers on. You can see there's a lot of flowers and things on here, you know. But uh, really with only, to our average first frost date is around November 15th, so that's a little less than a month, about maybe three weeks or so from now, maybe a couple days more extra. So that's going to be, you know, why why spend my time or why take up this real estate in my garden when this is not going to produce something in time to get the ripeness and or to even get to a decent sized green bell pepper it probably won't you know make it at that time so why bother you know um maybe maybe i take this plant maybe i try to take this plant and and put it in a pot and try to save it i don't know you know, we'll, we'll see. I, it might be something I experiment with. With this one, this is a tall one. Or maybe I might experiment with this little one down here. I don't know. Or do nothing. Just rip them out and throw them out. Harvest whatever's on them and be done with it. Because I, you know, I got other things to get in here. I got salad start mix and all kinds of things. to Onions that'll be need to go out here um, early November. So, you know, I'm needing the real estate. So, anywho... Uh, if you all get a chance, if you're all in the area, stop by uh, Pittman's Pumpkin Patch. And uh, at Pittman's Produce is the side is the name of the company. All right, a little side business. And uh, come pick out your beauty. I have, I don't know exactly how many I have, 15 to 20 of them, maybe. Uh, but they're, they're unique. They're organically grown. And they're ready to go. All right, so thank you for stopping by the patch. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Y'all have a great day. Bye now.